At this time, I am grateful to welcome forward David Pugh, who is a member of our stewardship committee and has been helping us think through our theme of moving forward together with gratitude. And I'm so grateful for David and for the words he will share with us now as we uh, think about this and our relationship with God and with one another. So thank you so much, David, for being here. My wife, Carrie Jo, and I uh, moved to Madison just over three years ago. And uh, that first Sunday, we came here to uh, Midvale, and we have been coming here ever since. It uh, has grown in our hearts, and uh, we would enjoy being here so much. And, and this year, I had the opportunity to join the stewardship team. And uh, it was brought up during one of our meetings that somebody from the stewardship team had the opportunity to give a stewardship moment to the church. And I volunteered. After all, during the week, I explained to 158th graders how algebra works, so I figured how much harder could this be? Stewardship's about math, right? Budgets and trends and numbers, and I love graphs and I love charts. Sometimes I picture myself as a modern-day Ross Perot being able to say, yeah, and here's how the things work, and here's the charts, and we're just going to go to the basement and fix it. We won't come out until it's done. If you don't get that, rel that uh, if you don't get that, that's probably because you weren't voting in 1992. Um, so anyway, I opened Excel, and I started thinking, how do you graph for a business plan in God's economy? And I started thinking, you know, when Jesus wanted to feed 5,000 people, he didn't make a plan or a budget. He just went up to a little boy and said, can I have your lunch? When there was a wine crisis at a wedding, Jesus didn't tell them, you know, why didn't you use math and project what your needs were going to be and, and carry a surplus so that in case there were supply line shortages, you'd be fine. He just asked for some water. And it slowly began to dawn on me that stewardship isn't about dollars and cents, graphs and spreadsheets and trends. And then something else occurred to me. I should not have volunteered for this. <laughs> but during my fourth hour class a few weeks ago, I was explaining to my students how to write the equation of a line. And some of you might remember this, y equals mx plus b. Um, and as I was explaining it, I said to my students, now, this works great. It is something really good to describe something or to predict something. But if the line is vertical, this just doesn't work. You see, if the line is vertical, the slope is infinite. We can't even begin to describe it. And so you have to use another way. In fact, a horizontal line is, is much the same. And so I said to my students, you know, when you're dealing with the horizontal and the vertical, you just kind of have to throw out all those other things. It's a new ball game. And that's when it hit me right there in the middle of algebra class. This thing we call stewardship isn't numbers and graphs because those become useless when we deal with the infinite. What this whole thing is about is connections. It's about relationships. It's about a vertical connection to the infinite power of God. And it's about horizontal connections to each other here in the body of Christ, the church. And this month when we talk about stewardship, isn't a time to review our budgets. It's a time to, re to renew those connections. It's a time to say, yes, I am connected. I am connected to the infinite power of God. And yes, I am connected to the people in this body in the church. You know, if there were a play-by-play -play announcer doing the story of the feeding of the 5,000s, I can imagine something like this. Oh, well, Jim, the boy's about to give Jesus his lunch, and there's the connection right there. He handed his lunch to Jesus. Now, for our viewers, the boy doesn't yet know how important that connection is. But we do. In fact, it wouldn't surprise me if this connection is being talked about 2,000 years from now. And I can imagine at the wedding, an announcer saying, okay, and here it is. We're going to see if there's the thrill of victory or the agony of defeat. The cup is coming out of the jug. They're pouring it into the glass. and It's wine. It's wine. Do you believe in miracles? 
So for the past month, you've been hearing about stewardship. And in case you're like I was, and you think it's really about graphs and projections and trends, I want you to know it's not. It's about connections. It's about Jesus saying, hey, can I have your lunch? And with that small gift, you are connected to the infinite power of God Almighty. And you are connected to the people of this church. And by the way, yes, I believe in miracles. 